losing. So top three for Lemon T, good stuff to him. But here we are in grand finals, kicking it off. Jackal versus Zamba. Jackal on the loser side of things this time around. So hopefully uh, Jackal with um, the way that he played against Lemon T, all that momentum has built up and he can finally, um, he can finally uh, compete with Zamba with the way that he's been playing as of uh, today. Different kind of game plan though you're going into here. You can't expect this to be like a spacey ditto or a fox or wolf aside. You've got to be a lot more on it when it comes to your offstage game because Zamba, as we saw from set one, Zamba is not going to let you get away with any missteps offstage. Yeah. And Zamba doing a really good job tacking on that damage as need be and getting the up smash out of shield as well. Oh, he had the punish right there, but Wolf from Nair saving him and lingering just long enough to save Jackal. But the down smash is going to catch him. That's something that Zamba has been doing so well today. Just catching the, the get up reads from all his opponents and punishing them well. Ooh. Yeah, Zamba's tech chasing has been on point, and he's been even better at forcing tech situations. Mm -hmm. you know, either the things off of gyro or down tilt or like anything in between. This is the, where the money happens for Jackal, though. You need to try and make the most out of these juggle situations. But, I mean, that's kind of the best thing about Rob recovering high, is that you can manually give yourself the space you need to there. <laughs> I mean, oh. to put it bluntly. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Zamba opting to go deeper off stage this time to try to get the punish on Jackal. But Jackal has been, you know, he's been reacting very quickly when, he, when he's off stage, you know. He's... He knows that the moment that he gets off stage and Zamba has full, you know, stage control, it could be dire for him. So he has to get back on stage ASAP. And, you know, doing struggling to find his first kill, but is not out of the realm of possibility of bringing this back. No, not not in the slightest. Like right? it's as soon as this stock drops, Jackal is allowed free reign on his combo game. Yeah. And there it is with the sweet spot there. Jackal playing around this suit super calmly, not trying to drop any of the stock in the invincibility period. Oh no. Oh, but no, going for a double jab instead of just ending it with the down yeah, smash. Seems like a missed input, and unfortunately from Zamba's part. He's able to play this uh, as he normally should be, but you miss out a kill like that, and suddenly this is a wolf with rage coming, screaming at you. And, and I mean, I don't want to deal with a Jackal that has a uh, a little bit of an extra beat in his step from living this long. Well, here we are. Max Rage Wolf for sure. And now the damage is already being done, but it doesn't even matter because the Rob back air comes in clutch, giving Zamba the upper edge and now um, pushing his lead a little bit further. I wonder if he was trying to parry that, which is super risky. And I mean, no risk at all in that down air, but Jackal trying to make it work put together something going here. He's getting it more and more even as the set, as the game progresses, finding more nares and finding more starters. Ooh. Like that, out of shield with the gyro. All righty. That's one way to build up some momentum, and that's one way that you can definitely bring this game back into your favor. And one thing we know about Wolf, a really solid combo game, does a lot of damage, and at this percent, if he's able to do so, will definitely seal your stock with one exchange. Yeah, this is this is a potential drop from Zamba, a potential comeback on Jackal's part. Fine Down throw? throw? Oh, no. Full throw. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Plenty of respect for Jackal's mashing game, but no respect at all for Wolf's recovery. That down air is so frustrating to get around. He had to commit to a high Wolf Flash mm -hmm. very early, but as soon as Zamba saw him go low, that was a wrap. Yeah. Unfortunate way. I mean, Jackal did a really good job keeping it close. And Jackal is also doing a really good job bringing back some nostalgia, going back to his Smash 4 roots. He has had a Sonic been pulled out before. I don't know what his, you know, take on the character is nowadays, but this character has also been making moves. Whether it's on Wi-Fi, I mean, there's also some solid, uh, players making moves uh, offline as well. Tony Z Tank being, you know, one of the more notable ones. Yeah, and Wrath uh, um, qualifying for yeah. the Sw Smash World Tour Finals, uh, uh, taking it, uh, take, making a very clean run himself. So there's plenty of Sonic players, and there's plenty of Sonic play style to go around, though most, most of it will be on the defensive side. Though playing out of shield here, Jackal 
doing Ooh. quite well at the start. Yeah, what? I'm almost surprised we're not seeing Jacko's uh, Aegis, which he did yeah, show off at the last Bears. That, that's exactly what I was thinking. You know, he's been trying to work on an Aegis, and the Aegis has um, been putting in that work, but you know what? I also believe Zamba is also um, very knowledge in that matchup as well. And Jackal, I mean, he's not your ordinary Sonic. When he wants to, he goes aggro, and it seems to be paying off as he gets first blood on Jackal. I mean, on Zamba. Missing the combo afterwards. He found Nair, but he, he found the landing Nair, but he missed the gyro throw afterward, which honestly, that could have resulted in a stock. In the meantime, Jackal has a chance to play Sonic's game with the <laughs> buffer tech that was so clean from Jackal. That, I love the mix up right there from Zamba. It's you expect the up air to come out, but no, he's charging the up smash. Knows they would have killed for sure. But yeah, as you mentioned, that buffered uh, tech saving Jackal in that scenario. Jackal's doing a really good job, and it could really just be the fact that this is an unexpected character choice right now for for Jackal. You know, it really just shifts the game plan and the mindset of Zamba right now. This isn't not, not what you you would have expected. There's the down tilt, but you do have to come together here and try and like even up the game against Sonic, who can. I mean, he'll wait in that situation forever. Just mm -hmm. holding spin dash, he can cancel it by doing a spin jump into a down air. But now you're starting to be a little, now you're getting into a little bit of a hairy spot. Sonic's not the lightest, and while his mobility has been is great and all, Rob's got plenty of kill power to go with that. All right. Oh, the back air gonna barely be enough to take the stock, but it's gonna extend the lead a lot further right now for Jackal. And at low percent, this is combo food right now for Jackal. If he's able to get something going, gonna get the grab up there. Yep. Gonna up get some damage and up air and 45% air. extra credit. Wow. Platform. This is Sonic players will love this stage. Super wide. You get the extensions off the platforms. You can go from one side to the other. Dodging underneath the half charge laser thanks to spin dash. Or spin yeah. charge, I guess I suppose it is. You're throwing out a lot of projectiles, Zamba, and none of them are paying off for you so far. As you know, Jack was just playing it safely, not forcing it anything now. I have a lead. Okay, let me just uh, camp you out and just wait for your approach. Let me just uh, continuously charge my my spin dash and just see if you're able to get anything off it. But Zamba's struggling to get anything. Yeah, Ooh. I mean, Jack was playing that runaway game, forcing Zamba to chase. He gets the tech chase, but no stock off of that spring. Not to mention the uh, the frame two air dodge certainly helping out Jackal okay. in this spot. Not in that one specifically, but it, uh, having a frame on an extra frame on your air dodge makes it easier to escape some of your crazier combos. Assuming Zombo doesn't have Ooh. something in the bag as he gets away with that spin dash. Yeah, he beat out the Nair with um that spin dash. So you know, good stuff right now from Jackal doing a really solid job. This is definitely you know it, it caught all of us off guard for sure. But he's gonna go uh, up in the air, going to go for the punish, not gonna get it. Forward throw might might put him in a bad predicament, but still, you know what? This is where Sonic struggles because this is where he needs the big hit. Uh-oh, that was a lot of rage. A oh, good no. air dart and it, the coverage, he's running out. I don't believe he has his jump. That's, That's this, not good. This is a dead Sonic. Ah! Is he dead? No, yeah. no. Oh my God, he's dead. Oh, that One. was the answer. One bad space. And you see the SS in Jackal's tag. You know he is the supersonic, or at least he was, before Zamba found his opening. And even if the even if the arm rotor combo doesn't hit, he's so far off stage that recovery that routes hurt. can get countered and uh, scouted out by just setting back on stage and edge guard into a ledge trap, which resulted in the stock. It hurts because you know, like Jackal seemed to have played that perfectly, that exactly so the the way that he needed to. But Rob is just one of those characters where if you give him the chance, and it only takes this one, if you give him one chance, he will capitalize. No jump, no nothing, and Zombo taking it. And um, guys, that's Fusion 98 for us. Zombo once again on the upper end of things, taking it without losing a set. All through winners 2-0. Mm -hmm. He dropped some games, uh, namely to Lemonty with his cloud. Uh, Lemonty's wolf against his cloud, but when the Rob came out, it was all business. Yep. And he cleaned house. Great stuff to Zamba taking first, trading sets again with Jackal as we end the night of Fusion 98.
Mm -hmm. Two weeks away from Fusion 100, right, but guys. we'll see you there. I've been Ubel, joined by Gabe. How do you want to say this, bud? Well, guys, I mean, it was it was one hell of an event. Oh, yeah. And it's only going to keep on getting better, guys. As he mentioned before, please follow us on Twitter if you haven't done so. Follow the Collision Stream. Uh, right follow here. them on Twitter. Do all that good stuff. I mean, we have so many things planned out for you in the near future. Stay tuned for those. And if you guys are still watching, have a good night.